Glioblastoma is the most aggressive and deadly brain tumor. Neuro-oncologist and associate professor of medicine, Dr. Milan Cheda at Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis is on the front lines in the battle against glioblastoma through his research in the lab and by helping his patients. Mixture of delivering bad news, but at the same time, hope. In some ways, it allows people to think about their priorities and what makes their life meaningful. So it's both an emotional experience uh, and a supportive and hopeful experience, but it, it, it can be very tough. Dr. Cheda wants to be able to provide hope by discovering and offering new treatments. Okay. The same tumor that killed Bo Biden, John McCain, Ted Kennedy, and unfortunately not enough has changed over the last 20 years for its treatment. So most people will uh, die within two years of being diagnosed. But research in his lab may one day lead to new and exciting therapies through a collaboration with Professor of Medicine and Genetics, Dr. Lee Ding at Washington University School of Medicine, Dr. Cheda is armed with groundbreaking information that he can use to help his research efforts. Ding and her team successfully mapped glioblastoma. What their study does is apply multiple different layers, 10 different layers of looking at the tumor by taking a deeper look at the tumor microenvironment, not just the cell, but the surrounding cells that it kind of interacts with, these tumors are quite different. It's part of the Human Tumor Atlas Network, a large-scale effort to understand the lifespan of tumors, single-cell sequencing in the lab of glioblastoma and the tumor's microenvironment led to the creation of 3D maps of the tumor ecosystem. Then, the scientists analyze how the maps change over time, giving them valuable insights about glioblastoma. Not all glioblastomas are the same, and they're not going to respond in the same way to therapies. Mapping the tumor is helping Dr. Cheda develop new treatments to target and kill treatment-resistant cells. Developing new treatments to target and kill treatment-resistant cells trying to identify what makes cells within a specific patient different than other cells in that same patient. So when a patient comes in, we treat them with surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy, but inevitably the tumor comes back, and often it comes back within just six months after you've given the tumor the most aggressive kind of challenge you can. So we're trying to understand what makes some tumor cells resistant to the therapies we're, we're using, and how can we target those cells in a better way. So what this study showed was that these other redundant new pathways that are driving the tumor have a central node, potential central hubs, networks, that can be used to turn off the entire system and not allow new pathways to allow the cell to grow. So that's important um, because really what we've been doing in the field is trying to silence the networks from just hitting the outskirts, not the central death star, so to speak. Using that Star Wars reference, he says it helps people understand the node and why building a strategy for attacking that death star is critical in this race against the clock. In terms of developing the therapies that target that death star, we have to show that there's a causal relationship that if the tumor has this, then it goes on to behave like this. Now we know what to go after. Now we know what to target, but we have to prove it. But if you're able to understand what makes the responders respond, then you can stratify your clinical trials in a much better way so that this group of patients is getting the appropriate treatment and this group of patients is getting a different treatment. As studies continue, Cheda is hoping the findings will help match glioblastoma patients to experimental treatments for best patient outcomes. Develop clinical trials where this, the drug that's already out there is given to the right patient. So really what we need are quick 
testable biomarkers that says if you have this result, then you go into this bin.